Over 50 million Americans are estimated to have arthritis. It is the number one cause of disability in the country, but there are ways that you can minimize arthritis pain at home. Dr. Maxwell Langford, an orthopedic surgeon at Wake Forest Baptist Health, joins us with more. Good to see you. Thank you for being Thanks here. Thanks so much for having me. This Appreciate is great. You. All right, so now if someone has been diagnosed with arthritis, what can they do at home to alleviate some of the pain and discomfort? So the best initial management is diet, exercise, weight loss, staying active, um, taking care of chronic medical conditions like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, not smoking, uh, avoiding excess alcohol use. Um, certainly it's understandable that patients have pain when they're exercising, so avoiding repetitive high impact activities like um, running or hiking in favor of things like yoga, swimming, water aerobics, those are a little bit more kind to the joints. Mm -hmm. It's a bit easier thing to do. Uh, medicines like Tylenol, anti-inflammatories, ibuprofen, Motrin, Aleve are good medicines. Icing after activities, bracing, those are all good things you can try at home. Sounds like you got to be almost perfect there. <laughs> well, it's, those are easy things to do, but it it's, can be difficult. All right, so you talked about diet. So how does that assist in the relief of arthritic pain? So certain flu foods are very inflammatory in the diet. Dairy products, processed really? foods. I like yeah, those. yeah, well, it's, it's an inflammatory food. It can make arthritic pain worse. Um, processed foods, fast food, simple sugars, refined carbohydrates, those kinds of things aren't really good for you. So uh, substituting for anti-inflammatory foods like fresh fruits and vegetables, beans, nuts, seeds, those are better things to include in the diet. They'll mm -hmm. help you lose weight, they'll help with arthritic pain, they just make you feel better overall. Mm -hmm. Also limiting or even eliminating meat intake can help with arthritic pain, inflammation in the body and weight loss. Oh my goodness, how much does it cut all of that out? <laughs> all right, so now does uh, obesity increase um, arthritic pain? It absolutely can. So every pound we have in our bodies, four pounds of pressure roughly on our hips and knees. So, you know, if I were to lose 10 pounds, that's 40 pounds of pressure off my hips and knees. If I lose 20 pounds, it's 80 pounds of pressure. So that makes a big difference. Um, and a lot of patients just by weight loss alone can get some relief from their arthritic pain. All right, what about a cure? So right now there's no cure for arthritis. Um, the best thing to do initially is the treatments we've talked about. Other treatment options are physical therapy, injections with steroids or other types of injections in the joints can help alleviate pain. Doesn't get rid of the arthritis, but can at least alleviate some degree of the pain. The next step beyond that is consideration of surgery. And that's the only thing that truly gets rid of the arthritis and restores the joint at this point in time. Mm -hmm. How do you know that it's arthritis or just, oh, something just hurts? Um, a, lot of, a lot of symptoms the patients have initially is inflammation after activities, an aching pain that's worse than with activity. Sometimes people say it's worse with certain weather, um, pain in the evening, pain when they wake up, stiffness. Mm -hmm. That's one of the early signs. But certainly if a patient has pain that's more than just a nagging pain, mm -hmm. we definitely recommend they see someone for an evaluation. All right, good stuff. Thank you so much. We appreciate Thank you. you.